G'day guys, Phil here. We're going to have a look at a game from the Korean server. This is going to be between a Terran and a Protoss, and the Terran... Terran's name is um, a little bit of a doozy to actually uh, to translate this one. Actually, thank you very much to uh, Taliana from Twitter, who you'll also find at SC2Trans, at SC2Trans. I'll just uh, link it in on the video right there. You can click on that. Oh, no, you can't, but whatever. Um, add, uh, add SC2 Trans to see some translations of the, of all of your, uh, of the SC2 Korean pro gamers. Uh, Taliana does a great job of actually translating some of those, and, uh, it's actually a real good help. Obviously, for me, doing a lot of the, uh, the content from the Korean scene is fantastic to, uh, see some of those tweets and see some of the translations of the guys. But, uh, Taliana actually helped me out with this one. We've got a player by the name, it sort of comes out to I'm happy. Uh, but it's not actually I am Incredible Miracle happy, uh, so don't be fooled by that. Of course, I'm pretty sure happy is actually Protoss anyway, so that uh, explains that. But uh, he's going to be starting off here on the 3 o'clock side of Shattered Temple, of course. This is going to be um, a little bit of an interesting one because his opponent over here on the right-hand side is Neck Sickness, none other than Neck Sickness. He's uh, very much uh, well known through the scene, of course. He did recently play at the PPSL, and uh, I didn't actually get to catch too many of those games, but I'm I believe he did uh, He did a decent job uh, in the PPSL, and of course, uh, well known to me, of course, being one of my, pretty much actually my favourite Korean Protoss player, uh, he just does some incredible things. Um, you see Warp Prism Micro, you see uh, carriers in games consistently, not not just a Hongan style or, or a MVP Genius style where they'll come out once in a blue moon and just be absolutely crazy. Um, in fact, speaking of crazy, there you go, he's going to grab Double Gas quite quickly there. Um, but uh, anyway, Sickness is just an absolutely great player to watch. You can catch him on Twitter at a uh, AZK Sickness. He's actually part of the AZ AZK clan now, which has obviously uh, come under a bit of fire as of recently because of uh, certain events at the PPSL, but we're not going to go into that because I really can't be bothered. And everyone knows the story of what happened there. So he's going to be across at the uh, at 3 o'clock, and he's going to be dealing with um, just one SCV just scouting out. Did I actually say that Happy was over on the 3 o'clock side? I don't know, man, but whatever. Um... They're going to be, uh, i got to keep remembering to, to turn busy off, that's really starting to annoy me. But um, we got two racks actually coming straight out of uh, of Happy here, and looks as if he's going to just uh, get that wall up straight away to make sure that uh, no pressure can come through as easily as it would like. But I would suspect that Sickness is actually going to pull out something along the lines of DTs. It looks as if we've got a second gate up now for him, so he's going to be able to get a couple of units out. There is a Stalker just about to pop out, which will end the life of this one. Lonely SCV, in fact, no, the SCV, very clever, is actually going to get outside pretty quickly there, and as we can see in the middle of the map, three of these marines actually pushing out into the middle already, Sickness doing a great job actually microing this probe around, it's not going to last too long though, unfortunately the micro was not good enough, and it looks as if we're going to have some marine pressure coming out of Happy at the current time, or perhaps he's going to turn around and make me look like a giant fool, but there is only one stalker out, and as we can see here, uh, we do have that um, double gateway being chronoed out with the stalkers, so we're going to have three stalkers out on the map, chrono boost not being applied to the warp gate tech so it's going to take a little bit longer for that to get up and running but as we can see here we've got uh, happy just actually doing a very interesting expand build here the double racks uh, pushing out a lot of marines and using them to pressure the protoss to perhaps uh, I, I i would say obviously the, the the goal was to force out a lot of units so that the protoss can expand can't expand themselves while back in the main base here as we can see happy actually getting that command center up and running and now finally the gas going down so it's that uh it's an interesting take on the double Double, double racks expand build here by Happy. So we'll see what he's going to pull out after this. And we can see that one of the stalkers actually getting a little bit uh, too cocky there, running up straight up the ramp. And in fact, two of those stalkers going down. Sickness is going to use the one stalker he has left over to try and take some shots at the Marines, but it's not going to last too long. But back at the base of Sickness, his Warp Gate Tech is just about to complete. We're going to get a robotics bay here. I would not be surprised. There it is, Warp Prism. This kid is fantastic with the Warp Prism. We've seen just ridiculous amount mortal micro inside the warp prism so hopefully we'll see something along those lines but given that there is a robotics bay coming out i would i would hesitate to say uh, 
we're going to have to uh, take a long shot here. This could be something along the lines of a Colossus drop. We've seen uh, Liquid, Liquid Hero actually do this kind of strategy on the Korean ladder, and it's been absolutely ridiculous to see. You actually can drop out the Colossus and take a shot uh, pretty quickly and get it back in the Warp Prism. Actually, it's it's actually nerfed compared to what it used to be back in the beta, when, um, if anyone can remember back that far to when TLO was playing Protoss and doing these types of strats with a Colossus in a Warp Prism, and you could actually drop the Colossus out and it would fire, you would pull the Colossus back up into the prism and then it would still have a laser coming out of the prism. It was absolutely ridiculous. But as we can see here, Cygnus actually losing his third stalker there. Unfortunately, just so many of these Marines just sitting at the top of the ramp. We've got a grand total of 19 Marines here. We've got a couple of Marauders that have just popped out as well. A couple more Marines adding to the mix with a reactor on that Rax. And as we can see here, we finally got the move out coming here from Happy. And he's going to just head down to the natural expansion. But one thing he's going to have to deal with is this incoming Colossus. We've got the Colossus on the way there. Extended Thermal Lance is being researched and that's going to be done. Uh, I wouldn't say that's going to be in time for this first attack given that this Colossus is just about to pop out. But Sickness is going to do, need to do quite a bit of damage here. We'll, uh, we'll see if his Micro is up to it. There he goes. We've got the uh, Warp Prism Hotkey there to number one. Don't actually have the Colossus Hotkey, just uh, something interesting to note there. But um, we can see that he is actually going to head across the map, actually not really sure what that uh, Warp Prism is actually going for now, but almost getting spotted, and in fact, maybe running into this Force of Unity. The Marines are going to be able, they don't have Stim just yet, but they will be able to do some damage to that if they are uh, on the ball, but it looks as if uh, he's going to bring that Colossus back and use that to defend against this attack. A very quick Colossus there, of course, is going to be able to hold off this attack, no doubt about that. We'll obviously need a second one if he can. It is coming out at the moment. Extended Double Ants is on the way as well. That'll certainly help in the defense of this main base, but it looks as if Sickness is now getting back into the groove. He is going to pick up that Colossus and now head out again. I'm not really sure what the plan is here. Perhaps he's just trying to actually get in range of some of these units and just pick them off before they can fight back, but uh, just really sort of waiting to see what he is going to do with this War Prism here. Do keep in mind we have a pylon up here. Oh, there you go. Right on time. He actually picks up a couple of Stalkers and he's going to use this to uh, just scout around the map, perhaps cause some damage inside the main base, but it looks as if this is going to be a little bit of a flanking attack here. We've got one Colossus coming through the middle here. The units are actually going to pull back and try and take out those Stalkers, and the Stalkers are going to have to run because Concussive Shell is on the way. And there goes the Guardian Shield. We've actually got a Colossus in a prism here. Going to catch a couple of those Marauders uh, just out in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful force fields there from Sickness. He's going to use that prism to actually move the Colossus just a little bit quicker than the uh, the Colossus can move itself. But of course, the Colossus now with their extended Dermal Lance are going to do a lot of damage. This attack is going to be very very interesting here. I'm not sure how successful this is going to be given that there are actually no uh, force fields available, but as we can see here, he actually did get the Graviton boost, I believe it's called, for the Colossus, and there you go, microing that back and forth. That's that uh, little drop micro I was talking about, just dropping it out, taking a shot and pulling it back in. Meanwhile, just at the front, we actually have that attack going on here. Nice micro to pull that Colossus back. Meanwhile, a lot of these gateway units are being uh, shot down, but then back in the natural expansion here, the Colossus has been dropped. He's going to take some shots at those SCVs. Meanwhile, the rest of the forces are still going to have to fall back. There are just uh, not enough Marines to actually take out this Warp Prism, and especially with that buff to the Warp Prism uh, shields, that's really going to help with this particular style of play here from Sickness, but it looks as if uh, Happy has finally realized one particular part of this build that uh, Sickness has done is that he's actually quite exposed at the front, and in fact, Sickness is going for that uh, quick expand there. The one Colossus going down. The, the last remaining Colossus in defense goes down. Looks as if he is going to have to cancel that uh, Nexus there as well. He's now bringing back that War Prism. Looks as if the, the Colossus has taken a few shots as well, and we'll have to see what Sickness has got up his sleeve. He does have an extra Colossus that has just popped out. Keep in mind, all of these units are extremely low. One sweep, and these guys are going down, but as you can see, there we go. Bam! Sweeping across just like uh, some crazy ch chimney sweep, just uh, cleaning it all up, and there you go. A little bit of micro, unfortunately failing there for Sickness, but he did take out all of those units and has defended quite nicely. And here goes another attack with this War Prism, of course, as we mentioned before, the shield buff to that Prism really makes it a lot more versatile and useful in this particular style, because it is going to stay alive a lot longer with those shields regenerating. Meanwhile, just uh, having a look at what Sickness is up to, grabbing a couple of extra gateways here, he does have that uh, natural experience 
expansion going up again. Now dropping the Colossus inside. This is going to be uh, very interesting for Happy to deal with. Picks up a couple of Marauders and is going to actually do a lot of damage to them. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful stuff there by Sickness. He's taking shots at these Marauders and they have no hope of actually hitting that Colossus. He is so quick off the mark. Actually failing just a bit there. Actually <laughs> taking some shots on the Colossus. But it is now just actually out of range of all of these units. I'm not really sure why he's marking it so hard. He could just keep taking shots. But there he goes. The Prism is going to have to escape. The uh, Prism with uh, the Graviton boost uh, is actually a lot faster than the Vikings. Thank God for that, considering the Vikings have a range of about 15 screens. But uh, more Colossus now on the way from Sickness, bringing those uh, gates across into Warp Gates now as well, bringing home that one injured Colossus. Going to use that to regen shields and uh, be, be quite more... Uh, quite a lot more useful as a defensive unit than it is as an attacking one. Speaking of attacking, that War Prism is just going through again, trying to drop off this Colossus and pick off a couple of these units before they can get into the fray at the front of Sickness's Natural. Looks as if Happy is going to try and go for this attack again. Got a couple of Vikings to take out the Colossus if possible. He is going to be able to, to take some shots at that. Going to need to be very careful with, uh, with his positioning. There he goes, a force field at the front there, blocking out the rest of the units on the ground. And that is actually uh, a little bit of an interesting spot here here for Sickness, but I think with that extra Colossus, he's actually going to be able to take care of this quite easily. And the Stalkers will take a lot of damage, but the Vikings will be taken care of quite simply there by those Stalkers on the ground. And there you go. One Colossus does go down, but it looks as if the uh, the Vikings are going to be taken care of quite easily. And with uh, just more and more units coming out here from Sickness, he's going to be in a great spot. But we'll have a look and see exactly what is going on in the economy stakes. We've actually... Okay, I'll take it back. We've actually got Sickness stuck at 30 probes to the 64 in the economy of Happy, and Happy currently sitting on six racks. We've got two reactors here, four tech labs, along with a Stargate with a reactor. So uh, Happy is actually sitting in a much more comfortable position. My mistake there, calling it the other way around. It's just obviously extremely exciting to see Sickness play and do these types of crazy strats, and we'll see what he gets up to, because the next part of the plan will obviously involve kicking up the production a little bit, uh, and hopefully getting a few more probes out, but in fact, he's got a different idea. He's going to pick up that uh, prism and just have a quick look in in the middle of the map here. We'll be able to see a couple of units actually just strolling through the middle there. We've got some uh, forces on the ground and in the sky there. The one at Colossus has now popped out. The prism it may actually go down. The prism is down. This could actually be the end for Sickness here. He's lost the Colossus, lost these ground units, and without the Colossus to help out there, this is going to be it. And there is the GG. So, unfortunately, despite some absolutely impeccable uh, micro skills here from Sickness, he did actually fall to this, uh, this very strong bio force from happy so hopefully you guys enjoyed that one of course it is a lot of fun to see sickness play regardless of when he wins or loses but uh, that was a lot of fun we'll catch you guys next time cheers